So a few days ago, Red Dead Redemption 1 was announced for PC for everybody to finally be able to play on their computers officially. And then everybody saw the price. I gotta say, $40 for a 14 year old game is a lot of fucking money. Like, Jesus Christ, I could just go on eBay right now and buy the Xbox One copy for $15. And I did do that, and I do have the copy. So if you can do that, then why the hell is Rockstar charging you $40 for a game you can just buy for $15? Well, simply, it's an upgrade. From the screenshots alone, we can tell that it's quite a graphical leap from what it was in 2010, honestly rivaling Red Dead Redemption 2's graphics. Plus, they ported it to PC, which shouldn't have taken this long, but here we are. Is there anything else to add to the game? Any new content or anything like that? Not that we know of. Honestly, from the post and everything, it looks like it's just going to be Red Dead 1 and Red and Undead Nightmare. Just more vamped up, which is cool. It kind of needed it. But, like, come on. You're telling me I have to spend 40 of my hard-earned dollars on this goddamn remake of a game? According to Rockstar, yeah, that's just how it is. Like, what do you, would you expect from Rockstar? They're going to see this opportunity to make a really good amount of money because everyone's going to be like, fuck you, Rockstar. You're making us spend this much money, but they're going to buy it anyways. I mean, I know I am. I'm scowling at Rockstar from my computer screen, but as I'm putting in the pre-order for the game, like, it's just the way it is. Video games are fucking expensive, even if they're just fucking re-releases. Just look at Nintendo. They fucking re-release their games every five years and they make a shit ton of money off of them, charging 60 bucks for it. The worst part about it is people buy it. That's how it works for Nintendo and it's how it's going to work for Rockstar because people are going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I know a bunch of our people who are subscribed to this channel are going to buy it. And yeah, it's just they're going to make money off of it because people are going to buy it. If they people weren't going to buy it, they wouldn't make money off of it and therefore they wouldn't make it. It really is frustrating though for a game that all the assets that are already there for them right in front of their faces and all they had to do is import like a control scheme for the PC and then add some graphical upgrades and stuff like that to make it look shiny and stuff. Which of course is no easy feat, but my point still stands. Charging this much money is ridiculous, like $30 sure, but nearly $50 is a fucking ridiculous price to ask. Just imagine it like this, an artist paints a really successful painting that people love and people adore. He then does the same painting again, but just adds some more highlights, maybe some more shadows, a bit more detailing and stuff like that, and charges triple the price. Like we all love Red Dead 1. Red Dead 1's an amazing game. It really rivals Red Dead 2. You can't really go wrong with picking which one is the best of the series, and even which if one of them's your favorite games of all time, you can't go wrong with that. But like, come on, that's a ridiculous price to ask. Something interesting I noticed on the Steam page for Red Dead Redemption 1 is that it requires a higher system requirement than Red Dead Redemption 2 requires, which is interesting because it's a 14 year old game with some graphical tweaks, updates, and a new control scheme for the computer. Like, how the hell does it need more graphical power than Red Dead Redemption 2 needs? And also something funny I noticed is that they don't even mention in the uh, new Red Dead Redemption release that it's really a graphical upgrade. They just say, oh, it's just a re-release of Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. Like, they're not really making a big deal of, like, the higher graphics or the better looking um, quality, overall quality of the game. They're just saying it's Red Dead Redemption 1. Like, why? Like, why not mention that it's basically Red Dead Redemption 1 revamp. Yeah, hi, editing lavish here. You may saw that I put on um, a point there that they said they briefly did on Twitter. Um, my point still stands here. They really should have mentioned it more, is more what I'm trying to say. Like in the Steam page, it's not mentioned at all. So I just wanted to point that out. And like, I don't really understand why they don't mention this stuff. Like this is good stuff for people to know because you're charging such a high price for a game that once again, you can just go on eBay and pay 15 bucks to get. And like, you're not really stating the positives, Rockstar. Like, what does this mean? It could mean many things in my eyes. It could just be poor marketing and people Rockstar being an idiot, or it could mean something completely different. I don't fucking know. Uh, at least we're getting it on PC. That's all I'm saying. At least we're getting Red Dead Redemption 1 officially. I know there's um, PC ports out there, but officially on PC, which is cool in my opinion. And after all, all criticism and griping aside, the graphical upgrade 
aspects of the game look so nice to me, and I really like how it looks. It really looks like Red Dead Redemption 2's art style with the Red Dead Redemption 1 gameplay, which I gotta say is impressive. And I, with especially with how big Red Dead Redemption 1 is, it's not a small game at all. Like, compared to Red Dead Redemption 2, it's pretty small, but like, it's still a pretty decent sized game, and so the amount of work that probably went into um, updating the graphics and stuff like that on the game cannot be understated. And it's coming out on the Switch, too, which is interesting. I, I'm kind of curious. Nope, nope. Gotta save your money, Lavish. Gotta save your money. Maybe eventually. Maybe eventually I'll take a look, but gotta save your money. And who knows? Maybe it will make the game so much better with all the graphical updates and make the $40 really worth it. I mean, I doubt that it not being worth it is going to be a problem because I'm going to love playing the game regardless and have a great time. And, you know, the graphical upgrade will be just a nice bonus to uh, playing such an amazing game over again. So with that, that's all I have for today. So I hope you all enjoyed that shorter video, but more me just venting my frustrations. If you enjoyed and want to see more Red Dead Redemption content, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have Red Dead Redemption content coming out semi-regularly. And also, there will be streams of this game once it comes out. So on October 29th, expect to see me streaming Red Dead Redemption 1. And yeah, make sure to like, subscribe for more content. And comment Redemption with me to the end of the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.